me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be using um, the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. This is what the shades look like. Colored Rain brought this out with an entire collection a while ago. They discontinued it for a while and brought it back recently. I believe you can still get this on the website if I'm not mistaken. The first time around I wasn't able to get it and now I got it and I'm really excited. I have been like on over this color, what is this, Tigris? This is my favorite color right here in this palette. It's such a beautiful shade and it mixes with that gold so wonderfully. Um, but anyway. I did three looks with them. If you're interested in seeing what those looks are and how to get them, then please continue to watch. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the shade Jungle and I'm gonna pat that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not gonna be too like precise with this. I'll go back and clean it up the edges like I usually do, but I just wanna get it saturated kind of at an inward angle. Next, I'm gonna go into Congo Basin and I'm going to lightly blend over top of the very tip top <laughs> of that shade on the outer corner, bring it into the curve of that eye shape in that crease and above the crease. Going back and forth kind of blending. Again, following the shape of my eye. I'm gonna take a clean brush to sort of blend out that top edge of that green shade just to make sure that we get that blended. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Green Valley and put that right next to that teal jungle shade. Again, moving at an angle. Next, we're gonna take Tigress and lay that right next to the Green Valley shade. We're gonna sort of make this ombre shimmer situation. Before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this a little bit. Um, sometimes with shimmers, all you really have to do is kind of pat them on top of each other and they blend naturally. So I'm gonna kind of be playing with that as well as dipping back into jungle to sort of make sure it blends into the outer edge as well. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Toucan in that inner eye portion. I'm gonna use a wipe to clean up that outer edge. I do this when I don't really feel like trying to create a wing out of thin air. <laughs> it's just easier sometimes to try to follow. And we're just gonna take a liner and follow that for my wing. I typically like using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner, especially if I'm going over thicker shimmers or glitters or anything like that. It's just a lot easier to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes here. All right, after the face, we're gonna go in with Jungle, just on the outer lower lash line, kind of connecting it up to that wing. And I'm gonna sort of mimic what we did on the lid by taking Green Valley, then Tigress, then Toucan, going inward towards the inner eye corner. Now I'm gonna take this flat, wide brush, flat fan brush, <laughs> and I'm gonna tap in a Congo Basin and just kinda blend ever so close. I don't want a heavy blend on this, just like a light touch of this color on that lower lash line, blending out those three colors. Next I'm gonna take this LA Girl Pastel Dream Eyeliner in the shade Magic Mint, and I am only gonna put it where we put that shimmery green in the waterline. Just to make that section brighter. Now for the last touch, I'm gonna go back into Toucan and just kinda tap in that and bring it around in that inner corner. Add mascara to those lower lashes. And that's look one.
with my eyes already primed, I'm gonna first go into the shade Clay. And I'm just gonna build and buff that shade into my crease, but also kind of wildly above it. I'm also going kind of in the bridge of my nose, just kind of building that shade up all around. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Tigress, which if you can't tell by now, this is my favorite shade in this palette. And I'm gonna put that on my lid, kind of leaving that first third, I guess, of my inner eye open. Next, I'm gonna take Toucan, my second favorite shade. <laughs> And that's gonna go in that open space that we left, in that inner corner section. Then I'm gonna take a brush and just sort of blend that into the clay shade, that orange shade that we put down. And I'm gonna basically build and blend, build and blend. All right, so this next section, I'm gonna be using two eyeliners. The first one's gonna be the ColourPop Liquid Liner. This is in Grande. It's basically a brown liner to create my outer wing. And I'm basically gonna go all the way into the middle like I usually would. But instead of going completely inward, I'm going to take a different liner. Still from ColourPop, this one's called Make Love. Any yellow liner you have, or green, or purple, or whatever color you wanna do would work. And I'm gonna just kind of go from where I would have continued that liner, from the intersection, right above it, not flaring it all the way out, but just kind of meeting at that outer edge. All right, next I'm gonna take the Tress Luce Intenso Liner. This is the shade Dreamer. It's like a teal, shiny situation, shimmer, teal. And I'm gonna put that on my waterline. And then I'm gonna take the shade Jungle and put that on my lower lash line, sort of blending into that teal shade we just put down. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Next, we're gonna take Green Valley, and that's gonna go in my inner corner, and of course, we're gonna kinda blend it out with everything and make it mesh. I did go back in just to touch up a little bit on that outer edge. I wanted to just kind of use that yellow to make it pop. You can do this or not do this, it's all on you, but I just wanted a little extra drama. Add lashes and mascara, and that's the final look. All right guys, that about does it for me. Hopefully you found this video fun. Hopefully you found this video inspiring, entertaining, all that jazz. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, to comment, and subscribe, all the things. Share the video if it is in your heart and your spirit to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. This is, by the way, it's such a good summer palette. I feel like if you're gonna be going on like a vacation or something like that and you just want some tropical looks,